I just think it's important to have young people, whether it be male or female, to get exposed to different things. And I think that uh, your hockey camp should start. I mean, I know these guys start in June, July, and they have to get picked for their team, and there's pressure, and there's this and that. I, I just don't think that should it happen that way. Is it going to change? Probably not, because that's just the way it is. But I think that they need to be uh, exposed to different things. It gives their muscles a chance to develop. It gives their mind a chance to stay rested. It's like anything else in life. If you're not fresh and ready to do something, you're not going to excel at it. And I think too much hockey can so sometimes be uh, counterproductive. I think you have to, you have to think what uh, is best for the players. And I think the only reason, the only way you can find out what's best for the players is by getting to know your players and finding out what the group needs and what they need, not only tactically, but uh, emotionally as well, whether they need a fun practice or a teaching practice or a hard practice. And, and I think you get those reads by knowing your players and you have to, you have to get to know your players uh, and uh, find out what makes them tick. I think one of the things that's probably uh, misused a little bit is uh, when you're working on quality practice time, there's no substitution for scrimmaging or game-like situations. I think that uh, if you want players to work in a game-like atmosphere and perform under game-like situations, you've got to put them in there. I think we, we, we all have access to a number of drill books quality practice plans, everything. But uh, creativity is through scrimmaging, and I don't think at times we give enough time for uh, that type of performance where you, the players are allowed to play the game of hockey uh, in an atmosphere that then leads into actual competition. So I think sometimes we spend a little bit too much time working on the drills and not allowing uh, the focus of the actual competition to be practiced too. So if I had any suggestion, it would be to put uh, game-like competition and scrimmage into every practice that you plan. Looking back on, on my childhood, I was very fortunate to, to have a lot of support uh, from my mom and, and my grandparents and my, and my dad. Um, to making the game fun, just to, to coming and, and to being in the game and cheering me on and having support in the stands. And um, I think, you know, I look back, one of the things I cherish the most is that my family really never at, told me when I was younger that I had a bad game. I mean, I knew I had a bad game. Um, you know, I'd like to score goals and get points and we'd like to win and, and things, but uh, they were just really very positive and, and um, they let the coaches tell me those things. And, um, you know, I look back, I can appreciate no matter what, my mom just, you know, no matter how the game went, good game, you know, and, and I remember arguing with her sometimes and I didn't have a good game, but, you know, it was nice that she thought of that way and just came as a, a positive influence and uh, just there to cheer me on. I think it's really imperative, a couple of things that, one, you're very supportive of your child. Uh, kids love to look in the stands and see their mom and dad at practice or a game, whether you're six years old or 26 playing in the NHL. We all love that. Um, I think that it's really imperative that you don't make your kids practice, that kids have to enjoy it and think they're uh, in love with it and that's what their focus is. And then the other side of it is burnout. Like I'm really nervous that kids who play 12 months a year, uh, hockey is meant to be played for nine months, play it as hard as you can, enjoy it, love it. And then other things that you can do in that, that off time uh, whether it's baseball, track and field, lacrosse, will all be beneficial for your hockey career. Um, and I think if you take those factors, uh, you'll enjoy it as a parent and the child will love it.